Hey guys, welcome back to a little bit more Detroit Become Human. I mean, we're epic, epic episode. I, I really hated how the last episode ended, but uh, it is what it is. Not much we can do with Connor at this point, but continue on with the story. Alright, so Alice is warm. That's really good. Luther's neutral. I was really, really hoping to save all three of them. I, it sucks that the choice I made ended up killing him. But I should, you know, I should have learned that from the very first episode because you could sacrifice yourself in order to save the girl. So let's walk back. Over. Oh, I can't. I can't. Ah, I hate limitations in games. That is the one downfall that I'm going to bitch about with this game is the little boundaries that they put up. I don't like it. Check backyard. Is that Luther? Is there anything over here? Hello? No, somebody else. I'm looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. She got some some what Mary Jane up in that bitch. I was told you could help us. Help you? Little Kush. Come on. It's better if we talk inside. He seems a little skeptical. Do you think we can trust him? Not really sure. What does that say? You don't have a choice. Can we go into the greenhouse? Whoa, what the? Hold on. Is there dialogue? You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Let's see what type of plants they're growing. Let's see what type of strain they have going on. I would assume it'd be very, very hard. Well, maybe not. If you have the right greenhouse, it's gonna say very hard to Come in. <laughs> to grow in the snow like that. But uh, I know nothing about that. What's your name, Alice? My name is I'm fucking cold. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. Hell, I'm exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I don't know if you should ask him to show us upstairs because I don't think he wants to do shit. He might show us to a furnace. Okay, so it looks like there's a book on the table that we can... Oh, we can't read that one yet? Alright, so fine, he'll follow Adam upstairs, put Alice to bed. What's up in here? Got some torture devices. I mean, I can certainly appreciate and respect their uh, reluctancy to uh, go upstairs. But we're going to treat this place the same way we treated Zelko or whatever his name was. That's to look around a little bit. Oh, come over. It's like, why are you letting go of my hand, you damn kid? So there's only two of them. They have two stockings on the fireplace, so no hidden character that we know of unless they're chained up in the basement. They got their pot growing in the house. Actually, no. It's just some household plants. Nice house. Very nice house. It's cute. Got wood ceilings. Or wood floors and ceilings. Can't look at the pictures. Nope. Yeah, I like this house. 
It's very warm and inviting. Um, I assume this is our room, or are you not going to tell us where to go? So I can just walk down the hall? Go where the fuck I want? Oh, damn, dude, didn't you know I say shit? It's like fucking leaves. Nothing here. I guess we gotta sit down. Gotta put her to bed. Put her to bed. medicine now you need a rest get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow why do humans hate us we didn't do anything wrong maybe they're just scared people are always scared of what they don't know why can't we just talk to each other they'd see we're not bad I don't know I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. Ooh, so should we I'll give it to her? Washed and dried. <laughs> you need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? Yeah, she needs to eat. Let's go ahead and see if we can administer... Get some sleep. Clo close curtains. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I guess we can't feed it to her. I'll stay with her a while. Talk to Rose. We can't talk to him. Is there anything else in this room? No. Time to leave. There's a house way over on the other side. Single access to this house. Let's see if there's anything on this window. We can't look out this one. So we can look out one but not the other. Makes no damn sense. Bet you we can read that book now. I didn't get your name. I didn't give it to you. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Sit. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. 
My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? Mm. The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! Well, that can't be good. That cannot be good. You can't talk to this kid. No. He's just gonna stand there and look around. And we couldn't pick up the magazine. That was quite interesting. Very interesting. She just shut down. So what do we have here? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I wasn't sleepy. Uh oh. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Well, Alice needs to go freaking back to we bed. Hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy.
I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Well, I feel at times that, I mean, the acting is so good in this game that I'm watching a movie. Look at that, we got a farmhouse sink. And um, then the music with with the acting really does make this a superb game. It's a beautiful ass house. A little farmhouse. A big ass refrigerator. Gotta, gotta have a place to store your androids, I mean meat. The fuck is this blue blood? Oh, that's a, so she could save them. Or help them. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's that fucking book. I told you, I told you we were gonna read that book before it was all over with. We're gonna read this goddamn magazine. World at War, War, World War Three, blah blah blah. Treat yourself, the AX four hundred, starting at just eight ninety nine. Talk to Adam. That's well, not Adam, so we gotta go find Adam. Carol. There's something I need to tell you. Uh oh. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. Well, maybe you should listen. Shit. Oh, what the fuck, man? The police. It's the police! Oh, man. I didn't get a major opportunity to look around. Hold on. So what's going on back here? here? Hold on. Hold on. The door. Hold on. I knew Hurry, this was going to happen. Take Alice and hide. I knew it. And the laundry in the kitchen. Laundry. In the laundry room. Fuck. Come on, Alice. All right. So that's one thing down. What's over here? What is this? Hide evidence. Okay, and then there was that blue blood that was... Okay, is there any fucking thing else around here? Right, there's something on the wall over there, I don't... Uh, hush it! Reassure. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be alright. Okay. Oh, there's a timer. I didn't even see that timer. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? No, oh, fuck. Of course I mind. May I come in? No. Of course. Keep your ass outside in the cold. Man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Fuck. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Yeah, something's going to go wrong. I know it. I know it. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. He's really scoping shit out, isn't he? Keep an eye on you to miss something. Uh, 
Thanks. Suspicion level zero, so that's good. Fuck! So looking at the magazine was not a good idea. Got rid of that, which was good. Glad we did that. What's your name, son? Uh oh. Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The the androids. They. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. Hmm. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Ooh, nice is he going to... Come on, get out that door. Ah, oh, mother fucker. Is somebody else in the house? Washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Laundry room, evening, washing yeah. machine. Get the fuck out! That was nerve-wracking as fuck. <laughs> Ooh. He's gone. Oh man. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Ah, uh, so that was the right decisions, except for the magazine. Wow. Got lucky. Get yourselves ready. Uh-oh. We leave tonight. Boom. Boom. Leave tonight. Wow, that was a crazy episode. Midnight train. Nothing to see here. All right, so there was another. Let's take a look. Uh, I like to look at these at each episode so this could have went a different way up here with the laundry room so maybe he finds them yeah find a high deviant evidence of look at that so there's one more option there i wonder what that would have been and then down here it looks like policeman fooled and then i'm assuming it would have been policeman not fooled and they would have been caught which not would have probably not have been good All right, that was pretty awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that episode. That was uh, intense. A lot of her episodes seem like they're more on the intense side. In any case, uh, hit that like button for me if you liked the video. Leave some comments in the comment section below. And make sure to share the video. Uh, more videos we get out there with more people, better off chance that this channel has of surviving the long haul of YouTube. Anyway, until next episode, you guys, peace out.